Pressure half time and deceleration time can be used to calculate mitral valve area. Begin by obtaining an apical four chamber view and place a color box over the mitral valve, including the atria and the inflow. Use continuous wave Doppler and place this parallel to the inflow jet. This will obtain the tracing at the bottom of the screen. The idea for both of these measurements is to measure the slope. As you can see here, some waveforms you obtain will have one or two peaks that are not in line with the slope, and therefore including them would alter the trace of the true slope, so you will need to omit them. You can see in the top left of the screen that the machine is using the same slope to calculate both pressure half time and deceleration time. Finally, with the value for either pressure half time or deceleration time, you can calculate the mitral valve area. You can then decide based on the mitral valve area if the valve is mild, moderately, or severely stenotic.